the Florida 4-H Legislature Program. Um, we are always the last week in June. We have 165 participants. They actually start their planning process way back in September. Our 26-member planning committee um, start selecting bills. They actually write and develop bills. And then when they get here, the bills, we have an opening session. They register for a political party. Um, and then come to, come to the Capitol on Tuesday morning prepared to debate bills in committee. The bills that make it out of committee come to Senate and House chamber floors and are debated on Wednesday and Thursday. Bills that are passed by both House and Senate chambers go to the 4-H governor and they are either signed or vetoed. The program is successful because it's a youth-directed program, because they have such ownership, they invest so much more in the program. Those bills, when they sit in those chairs and actually get to uh, press the real voting buttons and, and hear the dinging of the bell as they close and open the voting boxes makes it more real. It's exciting for us as adults to watch the youth get so incredibly excited about something that is a simulation, but they really do view it as quite real. The overall goal of the program is to offer opportunities to develop um, civic engagement related life skills. Those would include citizenship, uh, empathy for others, public presentation, critical thinking, decision making. Long term, ultimately, the big goal is to develop good citizens, to develop citizens that are engaged both in their communities and throughout the state of Florida. Some of our best messengers of the mission of, of IFAS Extension and UF and 4-H are these ledge participants because they have those they have the the sparkle in their eye and the love for the legislative process but they also love Florida and they also love 4-H and they all understand that UF is home for 4-H that UF IFAS is home for for what they're doing and so they're they're very proud of that fact.